Did I just get no CP? They annex it directly? That's that's big. Exhausting campaign. The hardest challenge I've had in E4. Right, boys, the year is 476, and we have, uh, well, we've lost Rome. That's right, we're West Rome, but we don't have any Romes to speak of. This is the last start date where Rome exists in the extended timeline mod. Obviously, there's Byzantium, but this is West Rome. We don't even have a custom mission tree. That's how little this uh, mod thinks of West Rome. We have a couple of cores, including, like, one or two random ones here. But other than that, boys, pretty dire straits. We've got stronger neighbors. Everyone hates us. It's not looking great. We can pick a blessing, however, because we're Chalcedonian. What's the faith looking like? Well, it looks like everyone's already Chalcedonian, so I'm going to go ahead and get war as the faith. I am tempted to go for uh, another rule for ourselves. We're not allowed to just ally the Byzantines, because they'd do it. They'd ally us right now. We could use them to batter the Ostrogoths, but I think that's just not in the spirit of it, is it? No, instead, we're going to attempt to do this our way. <laughs> it's not going to go well, boys. All right, let's see. Julius Nepos with a 1-4. Not terrible. And he's a conqueror, which... He's 21, so I like this guy already. Historically, we would be conquered by the kingdom of Italy. Uh, Odessa would, would take us out in, like, what, two years' time? Well, put it this way. We can't do as badly as the actual Roman Empire did at this point. Did I just get no CB by the Ostrogoths? Oh, boy, they have 21,000 troops. Okay. No war goal? That's cold. That's ice cold. All right, let's grab ourselves some military access from the Italians and let's bounce, boys. Okay, I'm going to scorch the earth everywhere. This is going to be a tricky one. Morale, we need uh, we need an advisor. Uh, so we're going to go and get other ones from now. This is, this is, I mean, I'm glad it happened early. Because I don't have to be sort of living fit. Okay, we have 13,000. We have a 1-4 general. We're going to march in there. What are our stats like? We have worse everything. But we've got heart, damn it. Okay, we have scorched the earth already. Can we get out of here? No, we can't. Okay, let's just consolidate what we can. We are outnumbered. I think we'd have to bail on this one. Okay. Actually, it doesn't seem too bad. Okay, right, that's gone okay. We're losing a decent chunk of money per month, but we're gonna march into this lot. That's the stack wipe right there. All right, all right, all right. I need to take territory. I need territory badly before they turn up again. Okay. <sighs> the no war goal thing's kind of an issue because if it was to protect something, we'd be so much better off. They are gathering their forces a little bit. Scorch the earth. Get everyone ready. I think I probably should have attacked that whilst I had the chance. No, we're going to let them take that, I think. We're going to gamble. That's the plan. We're going to gamble. Oh, they take it. They annex it directly. If I don't take it back? Oh, boys. Oh, boys. I think it's still active. So if anyone declares war on us and I allow what province to fall, they just sack it. They just take it back. In six months. Oh, that puts us on a hell of a timer. Okay, what I'm doing here is I am going to be taking these. Oh, it breaks the walls. That sucks. That doesn't buy us enough time. Okay, I need to take these territories back. Oh, I thought that was less than six months. Oh, apparently I can just... Ignore the prompt. That gives us another three months. Okay. Well, they're going to be stuck on that province for a little while at least. So in the meantime, let's try and gather as much war score as possible. We have lost a province in this war so far. Which obviously lowers our economic base. Which is not good at all. Wish we had that same cast as Betla. But no, we're meant to lose this war. Right. We need to break into this northern lot. We need to become Janet, basically. So that will do. Do I still get my core on that? Yeah, okay, good. So I get my core. I think it's a good deal because we don't have the troops for this. We've got, what, 12,000 troops? Bear in mind, anyone can attack us at any time for any reason and do the same Casus Belli. Right. That is very useful indeed. All right, first war one, boys. All right, let's calm this down. Woo, okay, and the Austrians just launched their golden era. We need the chance to go to war with Italy. Dude, that prestige hit sucks because it's going gonna, it's gonna to do our morale of armies minus 10%, man. Okay. On the plus side, our governing capacity is huge, so we're not going to hit that cap anytime soon. Like, we're going to be the Roman Empire by going around the Roman Empire, what we used to have. There's no way we're beating uh, the Italians anytime soon. Ah, oh, both at the same time, huh? Wonderful. Italy declare war on who? Vandalia. Alright, so the Vandals and Italians are fighting. That presents an opportunity for not me. Bulgarian Gothia. I've got to be real careful. Bulgaria? Oh, well, that's where the Bulgars are. 
Okay. See you soon. Why? <laughs> Why have you insulted me, Burgundy? I don't even know who you are. Why are you down here? You are allied to the Byzantines. Okay, the Austrians have been killed. <laughs> All right. I've got to try and fight you or you. I mean, Burgundy's scary. Or I could try and fight you. You're also bigger than me. Everyone around me is bigger. Okay, well, only real option. All right, twice the troops. Let's have a look. This is mountains, is it? It's highlands. Okay. They just have better discipline than me. Okay, that's fine. Now, provided this whole sack of things. Okay, it doesn't happen unless they declare the war. Okay, we're good. It's fine. Everything's fine. There we go. Lovely. Now we counter. He declared war on Gepadia. That's good for us. We can nip in. Where are your cores? Down there. We need to jump in on that. All right, where are these enemies? One up there, one lot up there. Okay, you might even come out now. If I go and take a province, we'll probably come out. Okay, nice. They'll come out. Come out for a little bit of money. Don't have to fight your army. That's good for me. Honestly, I think we take these guys as a vassal. I think that's the play. Just because we need as much expansion as possible at the end of the day. Let's see, they don't have any allies. We've got to go in. Surely, who else are you with? No one else? No one else? Are you kidding me? War operations. Give me all your money. You want, to, you, you want to give me all your money? 0%. Let's just do it. Go, 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 go. Quickly, before the Huns get hit. Run out. One mantle province, go. Before the Huns arrive. I think it was a Mulan. <laughs> thing about this, wasn't there? So he, I think he declared war with the migration castle spell, I? Oh, it's just the Hunnic conquest. I think the Huns have a special conquest, which is terrifying. Nice, give three on professionalism. So you've got 10% now. Oh my God, it's slacking so hard. And we might have to. 15,000 troops, you're a zero 4 ah, okay. I think I'm gonna slack and slack and because we're gonna need some mercenaries for this one. Okay, plan is leave a thousand men behind just to hold the siege. The rest of this lot. Let's get going. I'm gonna get out of this war. I can't? Why not? No forts occupied. Okay, well this is gonna be painful. Now we did get the next tech. I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it and go for it. Okay. Let's back up. Let's get out of it. Again, I feel the need to remind you that if, uh, oh god, if they occupy too much, then we die. <laughs> Tempted to just get out of this war. So I'll take as much as I can. Take the cash now because we need it. I'm gonna do it. Expand West Rome. Lovely. Let's call that stuff and uh, let's be on our merry way. I kind of want to loop back around and murder this guy. It's another one of these. I need to get out of this war. I can't sustain this many wars. Okay, so the Huns are bordering us. They are probably going to declare war on us next. 72% is to these guys, I think. Can I not take land? I bet that this fort will hold out longer than that one, right? Surely. Especially if I put defensiveness on it. If I put defensiveness on it, sit here, take these lands, get another a two siege guy. Brilliant. Uh, I'm gonna siege race him. Cause that always goes well. Okay, he's actually coming back. Okay, he he, he coming back fast. He's got 16,000 troops. I want to be out. <laughs> Cause he's got a two star general. Am I full strength? Maybe. Right now? Never. Okay, good. No, you stay. Okay. And breathe. And breathe. God, those Cassus Belli are so scary. Six months is no time at all. I just can't be weak in the slightest of this. They just murder me. Also, our prestige makes it so hard. We basically just have permanent debuffs. All right. Coalition. Just the Gepids. That's fine. Constant expansion. Boys, this is the name of the game. We're gonna rival the Huns. Okay, you guys allied to the Visigoths, that's not good for us. Anyone not have any allies? You've got Burgundy, he's not that scary. Scaria we just fought. Okay, I think it has to be West. Because he's only got one ally. And that gives us access to Bavaria and Lombardy. 
High income. Yay, construction time, boys. God, this is a depressing state of affairs, man. I'm already tired, and it's not just because it's like 1 a.m. I'm actually going to go ahead and grant. Should have done this at the start. National manpower modifier plus 10%. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's that's a fight. How many troops do you have? Just the 10,000. 8,000 of them. <gasps> that's that's big. But the Huns probably have like mad bonuses. Uh, actually, nothing too special. It's still going to lose that. Potentially. Nope, just about won that. Just knock out a little victory. Oops. Who? The Geats. They're one province. Do they have any troops? The West Geats have 15,000 troops. <laughs> don't know where they're going to come from. I don't know who the West Geats are. But they're around somewhere. Ah, oh, Jesus. I'm going to use one army just to nip in and keep taking. Little stacks. Little victories. Whilst we win this one. Harsh treatment costs. I'm not going to use that against these rules. Battles are like a lot of war score. Which is great for picking off this little lot. I have not seen any sign of the West Geats. <laughs> I'm very pleased about this fact. Please win that. Please win that. Please win that. Please win that. Oh, come on. I'm terrified the West Geats are coming for me. No, I won't lie to you. Then It's not a terrifying name, admittedly. I'd rather not fight this, to be honest, mate. I really would rather not fight this. I have zero manpower. Come on, please. Games now, game now is your time to be kind. 57%. For God's sake. Someone ran the stats on one of my sieges. It was like a 2% chance I lost it. Someone ran the stats in a previous uh, in a previous game, and it was like a 3.2% chance. I got like six losses in a row, and it happened like several times throughout the video. To the point where, like, I'm now convinced I've somehow installed a mod that is intentionally designed to sabotage me. Please win that. I can't bear to lose. Thank you. 99% against them, which means victory. I mean, it's a coalition, sure, but, like, honestly, I don't, I don't care. We can take 99%. That's good enough for me. Okay. Now we just have to deal with the West of Geats. You're, you're Swedish! <laughs> How do you have land down here? We've become a great power. Which is interesting. We also don't have any manpower, but I'm very pleased to not share a border with the Western Geats. Because they have like 15,000 troops or something stupid. Yeah, like 16,000. Why do I... What? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Another day. Another war. To be fair, the war school cost is not too bad. These sort of individual problems and stuff. Fortunately, having a two-star or two-siege general is very useful for nipping in. Unfortunately, rebels everywhere. You know what? We're just going to get out of this war. I don't know why I'm even in it still. And obviously, we'll be taking more territory. Okay. And no one else declare war on me. Okay, at least for a little bit. What did I just say? Okay, 20,000. I don't think I can beat 20,000. I just pay you 550 ducats. And you'll leave me alone. And war operations. Okay. Absolutely. And because it was a special Kessis Belli, they now have to give up their lands. <laughs> this is how you kill giants, boys. Alright, we are going to need to slacken a bunch. So we're going to use up all of our military power to do so. Uh, let's see, we get any generals. Uh, a 4-3, a 5-2, 4-2. Some of these are good. We still have a bunch more rebels to fight. So let's get this going, boys. I wonder. Does that give them discipline as well? It does. Why is my guy helping them? I've never understood that in this game. May harsh treatment this lot. Just give me a chance to de-siege all this land. No, oh, that's not a good sign. Alright, let's get rid of the 4 and 4% interest loans at least. Now we're just left with 5%, 1% interest loans. 5% interest loans, please. It was definitely worth it to not have to fight them. Because remember, every time they occupy a province, we lose that province. Pay off these loans. I'm going to need to tax the populace. I'm still at war. Okay, can we? Bro. <laughs> Please. There we go. Excellent. Now. I'm supposed to decrease autonomy. Everywhere. Watch the impact this is going to have. It's all territory. We currently lose, you know, three. Now we only lose 1.9. Might not seem that dramatic, but like, that's, that's important. All right, I'm going to slacken again. <laughs> Is there any gold mine near here? Surely there's one, right? Oh, we, uh, we do have a gold mine. Ah, oh, for God's sake. I have to go fight, don't I? So painful every time, man. 
just cost all of our troops. And there goes our king. Okay. 0 4, four. Not The greatest. Not the worst. Take out another loan. And we're going to hire our good old buddies, the free company. The idea being, of course, we use them to siege. Alright, where are these guys? Okay, they're going around us. Okay, 15 hour tradition. I'd love that. Okay, you go siege down. Just don't let them take any land from us. Now's your time, Rebels. Honestly, if you want to do me a solid. Bang. That's most of the stuff taken. I mean, I'll happily pick up one or two troops here. I'm gonna have to fight them anyway. Ooh, we can take a, an idea. I forgot that that crashes the game. Alright, don't click that button. <laughs> this is the key part. There we go, that's one set done. I don't want to have to deal with you right now. I'm gonna harsh treatment you. Alright, obviously, occupy all of his stuff, despite the fact that we already can't afford to core it. Two more rebellions. This is life. Okay, well, I'm assuming they're going to come back here. Okay, let's go deal with the Bavarians. God damn this game. Is it no Castabella? Yeah, so I have to make sure I don't lose any bat any uh, territory to them. Uh, honestly, this might be more stressful than actually doing the real thing. You know, but going back in time and trying to resurrect it. That was so painful. All right, we should be able to stack weapon, though. There we go. And so we are going to be taking territory in this war. <laughs> because ultimately it's them or us. And we have to out expand ourselves here. <laughs> right boys, it's the last of our rebels for now. I have spent a long time just in silence uh, trying to sort out this nation. So I think we've kind of done it. Everyone is in a coalition against me. Well, some people are. Uh, we have some truces. Uh, the guys who aren't in a truce could probably join a coalition. I, I'm struggling to sort of see where we'd expand. Maybe here. Maybe Thuringia. We're sort of trying to thrive in, in, in areas in which the Romans uh, typically did not. We're now just a tribe. Uh, I've also paid off some of our loans. I've been focusing on developing this province. Uh, this one here. So as, as far as I'm able to. I think we're big enough that people are now scared of declaring war on us, which is a wonderful position to be in. Almost paid off all of our loans that we used to, you know, pay off the Lombards. Right. You're allied to the Soissons, which is not good for us. We are attacking the Vandalias. Oh, you're getting bigger. That's the issue. I, I really want to smash and grab all you. I mean, there's only so much we can expand in this sort of area. I think we need to smash and grab Italy whilst they're in the Vandal territories. We are outnumbered significantly. But these cores, I, I mean, we take up Berg loans, we grab whatever we can to fight this with. I think we have to. I was really hoping there wouldn't be forts. Okay. Uh, let's grab the kind of. Let's first of all burn damn near all of this with the spell. And we're going to just slap in the hell. Okay, brilliant. We are now going to go and get our burglars and get the free company. Okay, we know how much battles are worth, so hopefully we can get a bit of school from this. What are their stats? We actually have better stats than them. Like, somewhat. Like, 5% better discipline. I will take this. Okay, he's occupied parts of Sicily. Wonderful. If I started my navy, I could have, like, dropped some troops and trapped him in Sicily, but unfortunately, I do not possess that anymore. Ooh, did not see that. Probably should have. Dude, he's actually doing okay. Okay, we're going to retreat to this mountain fort, though. Just going to overstack it in the hopes that he does not turn up and fight us. So we need this fort here, and then I think we can get to the capital. I did not mean to do that. Okay, just about. That was super painful. Who the hell are you? The van is here. I don't even know who you are. Just remember, boys, Siege Pit, best pip of the game. You're going to Inbalum. Where the hell is that? Okay, it was there. Please stack wipe. Thank you. Okay, we can't afford for him to leave and go and fight the guys in the mountains. 
Yeah, I understand there are going to be rebels for a little while. I'm aware of this. That's a two-star general as well. Okay. I'm going to go... Ooh, is he retreating here? Okay, well, we won that battle. <laughs> Please, come on, game. I need some respite in my life. You don't understand. I need this right now. Okay, he's not, he's not reinforcing that for some reason. Oh, God. That's a huge win. Get out of there, boys. Get out of there. All right, now we can just hold the wall goal for a little bit. Just sort of farm some wall score. I can't even celebrate. I'm just stressed, man. Okay, uh, we can't afford for any of these rebels to rise up because I can't leave the front. I should probably be doing more stuff. What even is the combat with? Combat with is 15. Okay, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. I gotta, I gotta make sure I deal with these rebels a bit better. A bit more efficiently, I should say. Okay, we're gonna wait for them to lock in. They did not lock in. Okay, we need to be moving in stacks of like somewhat near 15 to be efficient here. Uh, it's in the hills. We'll take that. March in a second later. There you go. Nice little victory. That is a very painful loss. To the point where I'm sort of shocked at how we lost that. Okay, how much manpower do we have left? Okay, we need to be slacking in. As much as possible. That's a three siege guy. Please, like, do not misclick. I almost did it. I, as I said it. Well, that is an interesting development. You declaring war in Italy. The Byzantine reconquest of Roma. I don't know if I get that first, bud. Although, as it stands, that's looking increasingly unlikely. I'm just going to pile everyone in there. Dude, why are his stats so much better than mine? We're going to go to... Re okay, let's, let's peace out this army. You guys got Ravenna. Uh, two siege guy, you're gonna go to Brigantium. And we're just gonna hold here. Alright, we've kind of split the armies in half with this fort being siege. Well, no, they're just walking around us. So I lied. Yep, they've just walked around us. Okay, so, this is sucks. I hate everything about this game. This is such an exhausting, exhausting campaign. We won Siege of Ravenna. I'll tell you what, it's not even worth that much war score. I don't understand how to get more war score. We've got 22%. I really think we peace out basically, like, immediately. <laughs> run away. Run away. Scorch the earth and run away. Yeah, there's way too many troops here. <laughs> there is no way I can do anything but siege down this and run. This is it. This is as good as it gets. We have a 1-5. It's going to march in first with the help of you lot. And then you're going to come in afterwards. There you go. Lovely. Oh, okay, we've got 18,000 men coming in. I don't know if we'll win this one. I'm going to scorch the earth to try and get us enough time. We do not get enough time. All right, boys. <laughs> this might be it. Oh, my God. He's got so much. How is his trip so much better than mine? This could be a stack wipe. I mean, we, we got Ravenna a bit of uh, leeway. So is that... Probably nip down here and get another victory. I don't know where his other troops are is the issue. Meanwhile, the Byzantines have probably just have, a, have had a great time not having to worry about any of this. Screw it, we're going straight in. Just assume those troops aren't close by. I see them, I see them. Okay, it's going to be the same thing as before. Okay, I, I, I really do think we get out. We're going to get slaughtered here. I mean, that works for me. Do I even want, like, something like Istria? It's got three development. If I get rid of it. I can have more cash. How much cash can I get? Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, the money is important for us right now. And we take a couple of territories. We weaken Italy. That works for me. These cores are no longer uncontested. Okay. Go for loans. We've got cash now. We have decent forts around here. We have lots of rebels. I'm a little bit in shock there, boys. This has been exhausting. I can't, I can't relate to you, the grind, boys. I, I, I just can't. It's impossible. They are technically winning against the Byzantines. I hope they hold them off long enough such that I can just sort of nip in in nine years' time and kick their asses again. Because again, Ravenna is, is open. Do I give the Byzantines access? So they can fight them properly? I think so. I'm going to do it. 
There just is no rest of the wicked. 32,000! Okay, bud. All right, man. How about I just give you... You want land? I'll give you this land. How about that, huh? Four provinces and money? Go for it. Go ham. You enjoy, man. Jesus Christ. How do you have that many troops? But fortunately, of course, that was a very unique cast of spell eye, which means he now gets his ass kicked. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my god. I just pay some money and then these guys all die? This is ideal. <laughs> Enjoy, Saxony, you bastards. I'll get a new idea set. Lovely. Probably gonna try and get some more morale, because that has been horrible. Although those first two ideas are probably better. We're gonna get those two. Get that infantry combat ability plus 5%. Sounds good to me. Again, we have another long stretch of time where I'm just going to be staying quiet, trying to deal with rebels and make my uh, economy work a bit better. This is probably the hardest challenge I've had in E4. It's the point where I can't even in good conscience recommend people try it. It's that painful. <sighs> Honestly, this is the point where I, I kind of need to get going a little bit because otherwise these guys are going to declare war on me like they've been doing over and over and over again. So I think I need to keep going west. Two of these territories are in England. So I feel like I can take them. Also, there's Lombardy, who aren't that scary. And who I could probably force out the war immediately. Well, I thought Lombardy might have been a little bit smaller than this. I did not realize they had territories up north. Oh, well. The thing is, we're actually close to taking it as capital. So, it doesn't seem too bad. But we will get swarmed if we're not careful. But that is his capital done. And hopefully that's him done. Trade power and that alliance give me money. Excellent. Get you out of here. And our troops should be of a higher quality than his. Yeah, quite substantially. Look at that. Bad discipline. You hate to see it. Well, it's good for us. Very good for us indeed. Oh, that's a stack wipe there. Thank you very much. That should be a stack wipe here as well. I think he's trapped there. Okay, we're going to gather up our troops on this end. Ooh. Okay, get up all of our troops, please. Why are you so fast? In fact, I am playing on speed fight. <laughs> this does not help things. Also, it's a little bit daunting when 16,000 troops are being led eastwards. There we go. Cancel the matrixes, by the way. That's also a good little trick. Uh, it's the same. Works the same way as the uh, little uh, fake out with the uh, uh, straight crossing. Uh, you can do the same thing with military access. This war is actually going surprisingly well. I assumed it was going to go horribly. Is these some territories I've never really gotten hold of? I'm procedurally zero. I don't think that's happening, bud. Alright, I could get the Eliometry should decay. Which would give us fort defense. Alternatively, I could slack him. And I think I know what I'm going to do. Alright, they're marching in. We're marching in. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, we've caught several of them. What's this war for? To take burn? How close we to take a burn? Where is burn? It's down there somewhere. We are going to take Ulm. Our troops are actually good now. This is amazing. I'm just being methodical about this and just slowly taking more and more territory. Just then they don't have a chance to regroup. Right, it's time for us to take our cores back. Uh, I don't even know where our cores are. Uh, I think it's this lot. But I do want to sneak up here. Thank you very much. Okay, West Rome is doing alright. What? 35,000 groups. Oh boy. Do I fight this? Okay, what do you want? If it's money, I'll give it to you now. Some territory. No, I need a border with the... Uh... It's not happening. I need a border with them. It's always some boys. If I lose any territory at all, it goes straight to them. So that's also not good. All right. So now we got some issues. Okay. All right. Let's use all of our military power to slack him twice. Fortunately, we have some three siege guys. Siege pips. I don't know if you've noticed. Is what I'm going for here. Right. Let's grab ourselves probably the independent army. I'll go for the Grand Company. They could probably deal with Herulia. I don't want to fight this, but I have, and I fought it well. Let's go and nip in and take it back there. Okay, well, he's dead. 
I don't want to die. I couldn't afford the stack like Spider just march in. I think they get bonuses against me as well. I'm not sure. Yeah, I need to take this territory back. I also, I'm going to go and get the free company over here. Here's the plan, right? Use this army to fight off everyone else. Uh, and then use this army here to die, apparently. Okay, I've, I've managed this war very poorly over there on this front here. What the hell is this? We've gained control of <laughs> Ardentorum. And if we manage to keep it under our control for six months, we're able to directly annex it to our country. With what? But, but it's ours. <laughs> I'll take the ducats. This is so hard when to like to lose a single province means that province goes. We learned our lesson in the first one like that. Cool, Alemani will actually give us access. That's kind of important. What about you? Will you give me access? Brilliant. You guys just hate your neighbors, huh? Okay, well the war in the, in, in the west is kind of progressing nicely. So that's good. I am enjoying the fact that he's going for... Oh god. Okay, he's going for like individual provinces, which works well for us. We are losing like 30 ducats a month, but that's inconsequential at this moment in time. What's this now? Again, every time I take it back, it gives me money and prestige. And that's nice. It's the highest prestige we've had, I think, ever. I've got six months, otherwise that thing's going to fall. All right, fine. Let's go take it back. I'm going to gather up my troops over here. They're going to try and take over that siege, aren't they? Oh, God, our troops are just so bad. They're still not good. Even after all of this. Okay, the war in the east, we've basically won. Right? I, mean, I might hold on to territory. I, I'm getting greedy. I'm greedy. I'm greedy. I'm admitting it. I'm greedy. This is the first stage of getting help is admitting you have a problem. I might lose one or two provinces here is the issue. If they take that, that fort, though, I'm done. That's them done. That is them absolutely rinsed. Yeah, I don't care about your stupid little coalitions. I I claim victory in the name of the Roman Empire, boys. There we go. Get your stupid war out of here. Okay. Looks like we need another general temporarily. Win that war. Go, 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 go. Okay. Don't join in. Don't join in. Don't join in. Okay. Right. We're still losing a load of money for a month, boys, but at least we have something to show for it. Okay, they brought in Kent and Lamovia. I don't know who Lamovia are. They're up there. Why are you guys even allied? Doesn't matter. You're dead now. What's that? He's, he's occupied something. Hmm. It's not good. All right, we are going to spend some military power just to make sure they're not taking back more stuff. Oh my god, this is horrible. Okay, we need to get out of here pretty soon. I cannot maintain this pressure forever. Especially given the fact that we can't lose a single goddamn province. Okay, we got it. We're out. We're out of this war within six months. And I almost surrendered this. Let that be a lesson to your kids. I don't know why I assume you're kids. I do just assume you're kids. Never give up on your dreams. There we go. Territory has been taken and secured. I think all this stuff actually goes to other people as well. Yeah, because he failed. So it doesn't count. Right, I'm actually going to nip in and uh, and take out Soy Soul. It feels appropriate. He's busy elsewhere. And he has a lot of our cause. I mean, he is sort of like the, the last uh, Roman rump state. People wanted me to play as them. But now I'm gonna, I found, I was originally going to be playing a Soisong because I was like, oh, this is a cool idea. It's the last, like, Roman rump state. Uh, but then, obviously, Western Rome still exists in this timeline. So, it felt more appropriate to go with them. Yeah, I, coalitions, whatever. It's fine. Damn, that boy's fast. His troops are worse than us, which is nice. Nice little change of events. All right, nip in, get some kills. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who's this now? Hermundia. How far away are you? You have... You, you're a one province. Okay. Let's abandon that siege. 
Please tell me you're going to go and siege down that one province. Ooh, did not mean to go there. It's the mountains. That's fun. I want to tell you how much I love attacking the mountains. Ugh. There we go. Right, that's, that's that lot dealt with. All you did was slow me down. All you did was slow me down. And I'll take your province in return. Thank you very much. Alright, you know what time it is? It's on slacking. 560 days that took to take out the capital. I'm just gonna ignore the rebels for now. <laughs> and by for now, I mean I'm just gonna ignore the rebels in favor of uh, slacking. Some more. Okay, they don't have enough troops to siege up now. That's good for me. Let's go siege some more stuff. To be fair, I don't have any manpower to siege. I'm also running out of, like, uh, willpower, IRL. Again, it's uh, been recorded for a couple of hours now. Uh, it's late at night. <laughs> I want to go to bed. <laughs> Narratively speaking, I was ready to leave after the Italian war. Uh, and then I just kept on going. I just, I was kind of sucked in. It's not like I've been particularly... <laughs> okay. So someone still has troops. I forgot about that. Extend all of our loans. Ignore the rebels in the east. By the way, the east, like, because usually I'd have sent an army back to deal with it. The east is just a mess. Uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not looking at it. Don't win that before I get there, please. <laughs> oh, the game just wants to keep you alive. In the game. Oh, God. I the game just wants to keep me in the game. It's not letting me leave. That's another set of rebels. More coalitions. It's fine. Look, again, if you just ignore your problems, they're not real. Also, bud, if you can go ahead and win the siege, it's been a while. It's been a hot minute. Like, the entirety of the Western Roman Empire, or at least the eastern portion of the Western Roman Empire, not to be confused for the Eastern Roman Empire, which is Byzantium, has risen up. All right, just about finishing him off. Come on. The troops in the east are almost done. The troops in the west are done. What if I send the safe to Zlevic? Would he, uh, would he actually try and save it? <laughs> I don't think so. I think he'd ignore me like he did last time, Cal. Oh, excellent, 100%. Right, so these are all our cores, I think. So we're just going to take them back. Bang. West Rome! And like I said, these are all our cores. They shouldn't actually have too much uh, separatism. They actually have none. No unrest. And these are actually decent territories. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think we will leave it for today. We ended up as the sixth great power. Well, we're about to be the uh, fifth. Uh, on par with Italy. Okay, what's our... Uh, forced to... So 48. I personally think if we fought the Italians again, we could also win, especially now. Ugh. We did it! And we didn't even ally the Byzantines. We didn't cheat. If you want me to continue the save, then uh, kindly uh, go and think about what a terrible human you are, because I'm not touching this <laughs> ever again. This is the most painful E4 experience of my life. We've kind of restored Rome, and uh, again, I'd probably go for the Visigoths next. Uh, it's just a case of rinse and repeat. Get rid of our rebels. Get rid of our autonomy. Rinse and repeat attack. Visigoths, Italy, get back our cause. Uh, I'm pretty happy with where we left that, to be honest. Armies wise, the Byzantines have 100,000 men, and we came in at just about half that. Started out as these four provinces. And let's not forget, anytime someone attacked us, if they were to take a province and hold it for six months, as you saw at the start of the game, they just keep it. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe in recognition of my efforts, and also the efforts of the editor who has to have uh, sat through that. So cheers, uh, Osgar, for this. Whew, otherwise, boys, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.